Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Hopefully everybody is having a fantastic day because it's going to be a good one. Anyway, uh, let's see. Again, I should probably get all this figured out. Let's get you to freezing. What are you going to do? Machine gut is good enough for me. Hopefully I'm going to hit and I missed it. Okay, well I'm just going to go to the other one. Uh, you're my stacker, and I'm guessing you are my freezer. Copy that. So, like I said, we're back here on Fish of North Atlantic, and uh, we're pretty much attacking uh, the red fish ground. It's kind of all over the place. I set these few lines first, and then I decided to go back. So I set these four or three, and then just went around. There's a lot of red fish underneath the boat, so hopefully uh, we'll fill up with a lot of fish, of uh, redfish, we have a three million pounds that we have to catch. So hopefully, we can actually make some good money off of that. We, uh, how many lines we got yet? We got four more lines. Eh, not terrible. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. So hopefully, it is April fifth at ten forty in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. And it is Tuesday. Got to go back to work on or tomorrow, which uh, is crazy. I mean, it's like we just got a weekend. I mean, it's already flying by. It's almost like the weekend is shorter than uh, than work days. I, I I feel like that's a an, an act, you know, an ac accurate thing. No, nope, we ain't gonna do it. So you, you're gonna make me drive all the way back to the first one. Why does that seem like it's gonna have to happen? Cool. We'll just we'll just waste time. That's fine. We'll just waste time and and fuel. Dang gum. Good thing this fuel or this this boat has a crap ton of fuel in it, huh? <sighs> Any user. So in my backyard, um, we were thinking about putting a new fence in, but it'd be too much money and da 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 da. So we bought trees. So yesterday we uh, we uh, rented an auger, 12 inch bit to, uh, why are you not picking them up, dude? You're starting to piss me off, is what you're doing. Uh, long lining is 11. Here, let's, uh, let's move you over here. And then back. Are you gonna pick it up this time? Or are you just gonna be a pain in the ass? Or, do you, or are you gonna make me do it? I mean, cause I'll do it. If that has to happen, I'll do it. I mean, dadgummit. I don't want to do it, because I'm paying your ass to do it, but I know that he has had some bug issues in the uh, in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, are you going to pick it up, or? Okay, then. Uh, let's have you do it, and then you machine. Wait, are you even good at this shit? Let's see here. Long lining is a nine. It's not great, but it's not terrible. What are you? Oh, a two. Well, at least he picked it up. That's all that matters. Not a whole lot of fish, but anyway. A ton of redfish, which is what we like to see. But yeah, so we got a 12-inch uh, bit drill auger, and uh, that's, what we, uh, that's what we played with, me and my brother. I uh, was going to have my... Uh, I was going to have my uh, um, my wife help me, but for some reason, uh, she uh, we didn't think she could do it. I mean, th this some bitch weighs pretty good, especially with all the clay and everything else that uh, we had to dig up. Um, so I called my brother, and he come over, and we just DW'd right quick, and, and it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't fun, but it wasn't, wasn't bad. We uh, got nine holes done in like 15, 20 minutes, and... Uh, planted the trees and then we actually had to go pick it uh go buy another one because uh we only got eight trees and we decided that nine would be better so we uh ten thousand pounds that is absolutely terrible uh but we decided that um nine would be better and now thinking about it, we should have gotten ten should have dug another hole but 
that's besides the point. Wife's gonna put a ton of flowers out there and make everything look beautiful. Uh, yes, is what she said. So, I don't know anything about flowers, so I'm just letting her letting her go, <laughs> letting her decorate however she wants. But another big thing is that we got a pool back there, and I have no idea where to drink. And um, the internet says one thing, and I don't even know who to call to see how to drain it. Um, but yeah, so I have to figure that out. Bunch of fun stuff, but <sighs> any user, what is the weather like today? The weather is 66 degrees. It is 13:03 or 1 p.m. 15.5 um, miles an hour and, uh, wind, and as you can tell, there is absolutely nothing no waves there's a small wave but uh, that's about it it's absolutely terrible absolutely terrible well, hopefully everybody's uh, enjoying this series as well I know it's uh, more of the more popular ones always has been ever since I started playing it always has been so uh, just been keeping that going and let me know what other species you want me to attack. I forgot to uh, fast forward to uh, December for cod. I forgot. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Better late than never, I must say. But at least you picked it up. Good lord. What else did I do yesterday? Oh, I also, uh... Also cut down a tree. Me and my brother, or my brother come over and and uh, he was uh, he was helping me cut down the tree and we, we cut it all up and stacked it up I was gonna have fire last night but my wife is yelling at me oh we don't need a fire it's too hot whatever I just wanted for the uh, the sound and the the ambience but uh, yeah that that didn't work out 8,000 pounds not great but ain't terrible let's see number four is next didn't it okay so we'll just go up over, down, nope, oh, down, thank you, and then five is over here, got yeah, seven hours, so we're going to have to uh, skip forward about ten, which is okay, all the uh, fish and everything should be gutted and uh, frozen and all that by then, well yeah, we cut down a tree and, and uh, everything else, the backyard is, is looking pretty good, I need a moat again, but I mean, it's it's way too wet at the moment. Uh, we had a big storm come through, uh, rainstorm-wise, and which I'm not complaining. We we need all the rain we can absolutely get. But uh, yeah, we had a big rainstorm come over or come through, and so couldn't mow. But we got the tree cut down, and now it looks naked in that front corner there. But anyway, I don't know what my wife wants to do. I know either this year or next year, probably next year if I had to guess, we're going to put raised garden beds down the uh, down the fence line on the side of the house and hopefully that'll work out. Hopefully we can uh, get some I guess fresh veggies is what she calls them. So hopefully that'll work out. I'm not quite sure what we got planned. Like I said I don't know if I want to do it this year or next year. I mean we are getting kind of kind of in the later stages of uh, of planting around these parts, um, especially when we don't, we only have one day a week, basically. Um, and I would do it too, but you know, if I put it in the wrong place, and I'd get yelled at. And of, and of course, if I even had her direction, I'd put it there and still get yelled at. So basically, on Mondays, that's how we uh, get everything done. Hey, f fifteen thousand. That's not bad at all. Can I cut through here? There we go. Beautiful. Oh, nope. Don't want that one. Eh, seven hours, so we'll do... Eleven? Nah, we'll just do twelve. Twelve, right there. Sadie is too tired to work. Oh, good lord, it's dark. Oh, it's still not done. How is it not done? Okay, we'll just do another hour then. Thank you. Good. Oh, I can't see Jack squat. Is my lights on? Searchlight. I can't see nothing. Can't see nothing. And I, I even have the uh, upgraded deal. Are you, uh, no, you aren't. 
dead tired. So is everybody else. Great. Fantastic. Uh, what is... Oh, here. Everybody can just go lay down. Go lay down for a bit. Uh, okay, I lied. How much do you have? Yeah. Start freezing. Everybody start freezing. Eh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish. Ain't terrible. Absolutely dark, though. That's insane. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Allergies, I, I, I kid you not. They're absolute worst. Especially now. Everything's starting to bloom. Everything's starting to do everything else. It's just crazy. So, I do apologize. And, of course, everybody's trying to text me at the same time. Got my dad texting me and everything else. Talking about the tree I already cut down. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, man, look at the fishes. They're just going crazy. Crazy. Freak out. But, yeah, so because it's Tuesday, I, uh, just been finishing up the recording processes. Don't know what we're going to be doing, um... Like, I don't know if we're going to be doing it, uh... Oh, 12,000. That's good. If we're going to keep doing a little bit more for next week or not, I'm not for sure. We might. I don't know. But I know I have to record or uh, edit two more and upload two more for the rest of the week. So, won't be too bad. Won't be too bad. What time is it? really wish it would be daytime. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Nope, it's going to be dark for uh, the rest of this pickup, I do believe. And pick it up. Uh, pick it up. Nope. Got to be a dick. Where's the line? Oh, I'm on the line. That that makes sense. Okay. So, well, now we're just going to come back around. There we go. Now, what's sad is, is that uh, since we're jumping topics, oh, my God. What did I hit? I don't know what I hit, but apparently it was something big enough to screw up the deal. That's for sure. Okay, we want to be a little bit left. We don't want to be directly on it, that's for sure. We're just coming a little bit left. Full speed. And there we go. Should get it. Pick. Thank you. Fuck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think. Anyway. That's not bad. At least we're catching more fish anyway. And I completely forgot what I was going to say, so let's see. Everybody's sleeping all right. Still gutting and everything else. Are you good at gutting? Mm, you're good at freezing. What are you good at? You good at anything, Rudy? Machine gutting. Eight. Freezing is 11. Okay, well, you're going to be my machine gutter for a bit. What are you good at? You good at anything? 12 at machine gutting? Okay, so I know you're tired, but I want you to do that. And I want you to do that. Wait, are you good at stacking? I mean, I don't know exactly how you could be bad at stacking if you're just stacking something. Literally, I, I don't know. Let's see, stacking is a seven. Okay, so I'm going to move you there and you there. There we go. Sounds like a better better deal there. And how much money have we got? 1.4 million. Ain't bad either. But yeah, let me know what fishery you want to watch or uh, see me do. Because uh, we've been doing long line for a while now. Seriously? Seriously? Thank you. Thank you. So if you want to see lobster, what have you, let me know in the comments below. Because we can do that for sure. Mm, everybody is still texting me. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, my uh, I called my dad yesterday and, and saw if uh, I could borrow his chainsaw. And he's like, oh, well, he hasn't ran in forever. I'm like, oh, that's great. 31,000 pounds on that line. That's not bad. 
And I'm like, well, that's not great. And he's like, oh, well, your brother has a uh, electric chainsaw. I'm like, okay, well, if it works, I mean, if it works, it works, right? So I called him after he left. And, uh, well, he, like I said, he helped me dig the holes and stuff like that, planted the trees. And so I called him back after he left, and I was like, hey, um, you, oh, wow, good fish on here. And I was like, I was told you got a chainsaw. And he was like, yeah, I got to fix it first. Not for sure exactly what happened or why. So um, so he come back over about 7 o'clock or so, and, and uh, we cooked dinner and stuff like that. Cut down the tree, and, and it was funny as hell because he started cutting on the tree, but it wasn't cutting nothing. And I'm like, you know, I'm not a rocket scientist, and when I when I tell as, when I ask you this question, it's gonna sound like I'm an asshole, or like thinking you're you're a dumbass. But I go, is it a potential chance that the chain is backwards? And he goes, you know what? That's not a bad idea, because supposedly my dad put it on backwards. I guess. So we flipped the chain around, and you know, sure enough, it started cutting like a dream, <laughs> cutting like a hot knife through butter. And I'm like, wow, why would uh why would dad do something so stupid? Well, then again, you have to you have to figure out that my my family's not the smartest in the world, you know. But yeah, it, it was just it was so funny. Absolutely funny. But I think what we're gonna do, now thinking about it, is we're gonna sell all these and then we're just gonna come back to this red line or uh, redfish with ten thousand. Why did you fucking miss, dude? We don't have the money to miss, okay? So if you miss it again, you're fired. Got it? If you miss again, you are fired. All the pressure's on you. But yeah, if you want to see lobster fishing, we could definitely do that. I've done a little bit of lobster fishing, but not a ton. Uh, and then also in December, um, that is also when uh, cod comes into season. So... We'll be making more money. 29000 Probably be 31000 if you didn't miss that last fish. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, the allergies are just choking you up and everything else. It's absolutely, absolutely terrible. Uh, what are you good at? should probably not do this. Machine gutting, good. You, you, you do machine gutting. And then I'll hook the thing because I probably won't miss and because everybody's tired because they're lazy let's see right kaboom ah, that's a good 13 fish on the line as well so we're definitely in the fish that is for sure oh another good here let's see what's this kaboom oh a good damn it I want perfect I need perfect but I think I spent like $175,000 on the upgraded harpoon, uh, spyglass, and everything else. Oh, that was almost a perfect. And gutting knife, I do believe. Oh, there's a perfect. Why did I get a message? I don't know why I got a message. Alright. Oop. Just the good. Just the good. We got one perfect, and all the rest were good. Oh, damn it. Didn't wait long enough. And... Kaboom. Oh. I thought for sure it was going to be good. But yeah, so my brother came over and we, we cut down the tree and I got to see my monkey. Oh, we got an okay. Boy, howdy. She's grown up so quick. I tell you what, she, uh, she's she got like longer hair now. I, I haven't seen her in like two, three weeks. Maybe in a month. I don't know. It's been a long time. Oh, that was just barely. 39,000. See, look what happens when you don't lose fish. Rudy. But yeah, but she's getting longer hair and and just everything else. She's starting to talk more. And, uh, you know, me and my wife don't have a kid or nothing like that. So, definitely she is our kid. Kind of. She doesn't like, uh, you know, leaving mommy and daddy. But, you know, hey, she's, she's pretty cool. Not going to lie. But, you know, as long as uh, she likes to hang out with me. Like I said, we're trying to get our pool set up so she can uh, go swimming. Oh, that one's only 10. I was looking at the amount of fish and not paying attention. 
But, uh, yeah, we're trying to get the pool up and running. Because apparently she likes taking baths and stuff like that. So we're trying, or at least I am, trying to get the uh, the pool ready so that she doesn't, like, start hating water or, like, sw like hating swimming. So that she can be a, a swimmer, you know. And uh, not be afraid of water. Or at least that's my my goal, I guess. Of course, it's not my child, but I have to talk to my brother. But he's been like, "Hey, you got to get that pool ready for for monkeys." So that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to figure out where to put all the water. Uh, we actually got a sump pump. Oh, look at that! More perfect than anything. And uh, so we're trying to get all that figured out. Now we just got to figure out where to put it. So. 18,000, but look how many fish are underneath the boat. That doesn't make sense. So we're just trying to figure out where to put it. Supposedly there's an, a uh, sewer outlet drain somewhere, or clean-out drain that we can pour it down, but there's definitely some risks involved doing that because if you uh, if you back it up, then you got to get a plumber. And it's just, I don't know. A lot of uh, a lot of risks involved. 166,000 pounds so far. A lot of redfish underneath the boat. So hopefully, uh, just barely get it in. Are you kidding? Come on, back up, back up, back up. That was quick. That was, that was quick on my my lips there. 18,997.6 pounds. That's Again, that's not bad. It really isn't. Come on, back up. I bet if we had ten thousand uh, hooks, we'd be we'd be filling this boat up pretty good. Come on, come on. There we go. Eh, it looks decent. Thirteen. Hopefully, another forty thousand pounds. Definitely attacking the redfish quota at this point. And I'm not for sure how... M oh, shit. I missed. How did I do that? Maybe I'm fired. But, yeah, I'm not for sure how much redfish are worth. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to fire myself if I miss again. Give Rudy such a hard time. Or Isaac, or whoever the hell he is. I don't even know my crew members. There we go. Now, if I can get all perfects and not missed, that is fantastic. There we go. And that one. No, oh, another perfect. Fantastic. Rudy is too tired to work. Well, why does that not surprise me? You know, here I am working, working away, and uh, you're you're being the slacker. A damn slacker. Now, what sucks is, like, you can't stack it, you can't freeze it, you can't do anything. You can only l literally pick it up. 34,000. Eh, that's not terrible. Oh, he was my stacker. Well, fantastic. Okay, are you freezing, stacking? Okay, fine. So I'm going to switch you over to stacking. Because we need to get some stacking. We'll move you back out. We'll move you to that. Because that's what we need done. Okay, so... Go over here. But yeah, if I had 10,000 hook lines for 14, or, well, technically 13 lines, I feel like we'd be making some money, because there's some good good redfish up here. So let's actually mark it, right? So, some good redfish. And so far we've got 200 and, well, let's see. Uh, red, 15,000 redfish, that is a lot. Apparently, that's all we've been catching. So, that's... Ah! Oh, good. I thought we were going to miss it. 100%. 11. Eh, not bad. Let's say probably about 25,000 pounds, if I had to guess, if I don't miss. That's probably why we only got 34 instead of 40, is because I missed one. Now, the hard one is, I think it's Haddock. If I had to... Th I think it's Haddock, the ones that spin around like a flipping b balloon, you know? And they're hard to hard to judge. Let's see here. And kapo oh, that was a perfect one. It's so much fishing season around here too. Like I said, it's April, and uh, we've been having some good weather. We did have a, a slight storm, but nothing too you know nothing too crazy. So hopefully the water gets warm. It needs to be about 60 degree water temp. 
to uh, go fishing. And uh, what we fish for out here is uh, normally, well, my family, normally we just go out for uh, crappie and bluegill. Bluegill is later in life. It's uh, closer to summertime. But crappie, uh, best eaten fish, I think. I think, but hands down. Uh, but yeah, we normally keep crappie and and get a fish fry and stuff like that. Absolutely fantastic, if I had to say myself. And then bluegill's pretty good too, but lar like largemouth bass, we don't keep them. Um, I mean, we fish for them, but we don't. Uh, every time we catch them and stuff like that, we don't. Uh, we don't you know eat them or nothing we just throw them back why are we gaining pounds that is strange let's see now it's like we catch catfish or anything like that we definitely keep them why did that happen okay well just to save time we're just gonna come right back but yeah like catfish and stuff like that we we don't really catch catfish out here um we catch more you know, like I said, crappie, bluegill, largemouth bass, um, and stuff in that range. We don't really... Now, we don't go really trout fishing either. Sometimes you can catch a good trout or two, but uh, we don't necessarily... We don't target it. We, we basically fished for whatever bites, but we don't go out and actively target trout. But we do target crappie, bluegill, and bass. That's what we do, but... You know, if we catch, like, a catfish or something like that, then, then uh, pretty much keep that. But other than that, you know, like like bass, we don't keep that. We don't do nothing like that. Why am I missing it so freaking badly? It goes that way. I don't know why I couldn't pick it up. That's strange. If I quit talking about fish and go fishing, maybe it'll actually help out some. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Back up. Back up. Come on. We getting there? Come on. How's the work? How's the guys doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. Got 136,000 pounds of fresh fish we need to be gutting and, and freezing. There it is. Get everything all straightened up. Hopefully. And right there. Beautiful. Fourteen. Oh, bastard. I hit the button. I hit the button. I don't know why it didn't. There we go. I hit, See, look, I hit the button, but it didn't do anything. That's annoying. No, it's also a bad idea that I got to sneeze. Oh, it's right there, too. Come on, no sneeze. And also, Subnautica has been, is over. That video came out Monday, so if you want to see the ending there, uh, feel free to go watch it. It's about 16 minutes long. Not as long as the uh, the normal hour, but uh, it's a, it was a good game. It was a good game. I wish, like I said in previous episodes, I wish that I slowed down and, and explored more and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I really did. You know, I, I just kind of like zoomed through it, got it done. But now thinking about it, I wish I would have slowed down and and took time to uh, get everything figured out and stuff like that. A lot of things we didn't build. There's a lot of things with that, uh, a lot of mechanics in the game that we didn't do and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, if you want to watch the ending, like I said, it is on vi uh, Monday is the video that we've seen. 41,000, that's not bad even for me missing one. Um, but yeah, so that's done. So if you have any games that you would like to see, or uh, watch me play, I guess you could say. Let me know in the comments below. Dude, look at all the fish right here, too. I'm going to put a red fish right here. Hopefully, we'll get a full full uh, net or full line here, too. There's even a tuna down there. Let's see. Hopefully, we're getting a new game. They've been uh, really slacking on updates lately. For this game, they've been, uh, you know, kind of quiet, to be honest with you. So hopefully we'll get a, a game to, or a, a new game. Oh, you bastard, why? I hit that freaking button twice now. Thank you. 
Maybe my mouse is going out or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just excuses. But yeah, hopefully we're getting another game. Um, like I said, I would love the uh, Pacific, but I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, it, it's just interesting to see. Like on Discord, I'm uh, a part of their group, and they've been really slowing down on uh, the updates and stuff like that. So it almost kind of makes you makes me believe that they're building another game or making another game, and hopefully they are. Um, I mean, that would be absolutely fantastic to uh, to get to play that and, and continue the fishing career that we have built. Yeah, Fishing Barrent Sea. I did play it a little bit, but pretty much everybody w likes this game. I mean, Fishing Barrent Sea has been out since 2018. This one's been 2020, if I do remember correctly. And so every two years, they normally come out with a game, which this year is year two. Now, of course, because of COVID and everything else, things uh, could be slowed down. So it may be next year, if they even continue. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that there's a um, there's been rumors of a new game or nothing like that. I ain't saying nothing like that. I don't know. I'm hoping, but I don't know. Uh, so hopefully we can get another game. Hopefully it's specific, like I said. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, pretty much, like, a lot of people have been saying that uh, they were thinking about, like, the eastern border of China in uh, in the Pacific, which that would be cool, too, you know? That would uh, definitely increase, like, the uh, the differences of boats and stuff like that. Why did you, did you not pick up this one? Why, why, like, why couldn't I pick that one up? Anyway, but, like, it would be kind of cool to, uh, to see, like, how the Chinese fish, you know, like different fishing techniques, uh, if there even is, I mean, they might just use nets and lines too, I'm not, I'm not for sure, but, uh, that'd be pretty cool, uh, to see if they, like I said, if they did have different net techniques or, um, like rod and reel, stuff like that, or like even, like more traditional back in the, back in the day, uh, like few hundred years ago. You know, like a good old sailboat and stuff like that. I don't know. For some reason, that I think that would be cool. But who knows? I mean, we just got to uh, sit here and wait, I suppose. 13 on the last line. Again, not bad. Definitely need to uh, not miss any fish. We're up to, uh, I think it was 350,000 pounds that we've caught so far. On 14, well, 13 lines. It's not terrible. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get... 10,000 hook lines, come back out and set again. Um, and of course we have um, a lot of fish that we have to catch, redfish and stuff like that. But I think all the fish that come in, or they're still in, in December. So maybe we can uh, catch some cod too, because I think cod is the most expensive fish that they pay for. I think it's like 250 a pound. And cod weigh a lot, so I don't know. Maybe we'll go for that. Let me know in the comments below in this video. So then we'll try to go from there. Now we got getting some a few perfects in there. That's good. As long as we don't miss, that's all that matters. We missed two two first fish in a row, two or three, which is insane. Let's see. What about this one? Two. Oh, well, good to finish it off. Thirty-four thousand. Not bad. Nope, not that one. This one. All right. Well, we could feed them, but I don't feel like it. So what we're going to do is we uh, got our redfish marked out. So we're just going to basically just cruise in here to uh, to Yar... No, I don't want to travel there. To Yarmouth. Because Yarmouth is uh, where everything... Pretty much where I'm getting most money, uh, if I had to guess. We did fish here, but nothing's really happening there. Mackerel, I spotted three days ago, supposedly. And then Pollock there 23 days ago. That was a good spot down there, too. Okay, we need to stop because everybody's falling asleep on me. Here, let's see. What are we hitting? There's nothing out there. Shallow water. What? What? We're in the middle of the ocean. Okay. 
So apparently don't go there. Okay, but there's nothing shallow over here. So why did we hit something? Oh, whatever. Whatever. We'll just figure that out. Oh, look at Pearl. Still just slaving away. I, I kid you not. She's absolutely by far the best worker we got. Her and Sadie. Sadie's all right. Eh. Pearl's definitely the best, though. Eight, eleven, five. Okay, so you're going to be my stacker, like per usual. You're my stacker. I think you're a machine gutter, huh? Yep, machine gutter. Okay, so you're going to be my machine gutter for now until he gets good. There we go. 340,000 pounds, though. That, oh, I better wait until they all get there, or else they ain't going to work. I really, that's weird, because I've literally never hit ground there before. But I've also, I don't think I've ever stopped right there before. So that's strange. Huh, there's a lot of Pollock back there. Wherever I stopped before. Alright, we all in or all in position? Good. Oh, hit the button too many times. Pearl is too tired to work. Well, you can... I can afford you to have a rest. I mean, you've been busting your ass. 36 minutes already. Dang, you know, that's crazy. Oh, silver hake down below. All right, let's... Uh, let's put you out here anyway. We'll move you, move you back. Then we're going to have to fix the boat. You drive like you fix roads. Lousy. Everybody figuring their life out? No, we got one more moron coming out. I think that's Isaac. I'd be a great boss, wouldn't I? Got one more moron coming out. There we go. He's almost there. There we go. Beautiful. I'll come in here. And they basically pass time, pass time until they figure life out. <sighs> Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. No, I lied. I lied. Let's see. So, oh, good. Pearl, start freezing, would you? Be a doll. I don't know how that works. Everybody's, everybody's full of energy again. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but they weren't full of energy a few hours ago. Fast forward seven hours. We should be done by now. Almost. Oh, Pearl wasn't out there. Daggummit. And Pearl is my freezer, so... The, these gals, they're tired already. Okay, are you a better freezer or stacker? Okay, you're a better stacker. Or freezer. Mm. Pearl, I love you, but can you stack for me? Thank you. All right. Nope, hit the wrong button. Okay, let's go over here. Fast forward eight more hours. Oh, not 11. Eight. Eight. Thank you. Pearl is too tired to work. Should be done. Everybody, why, why are you still working? You should be done. Thank you. 340,059 pounds. Well, hopefully that would be some good money. 1.2 million. That's not bad. Not bad. How much is Redfish worth? $3.74. Copy that. Man alive. That's fantastic. So we caught an absolute shit ton of Redfish. And then a few Haddock and Pollock and Silver Hake. But, uh, oh well, that's fantastic. 1.2 million. We literally just doubled what we made, or have. So, 126,000 in port revenue, which basically paid the the crew. We paid 4,000. So that's fantastic. All right. Do I have any loans? I don't know if I do or not. Yeah, I do owe. I do owe a loan. Cool. I ain't worried about that because we have uh, nine more days to pay it off completely. But anyway, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I do have to fast forward the time to. Uh, get daylight picture but anyway like i said thank you guys for liking commenting and subscribing just truly mean a lot and i'll see you all in the next one and you all take care